What's going on guys? As you know, the movie world has had to deal with some changes as of late. Movie theaters around the world are closing temporarily. In my neighborhood, a lot of them have closed and the ones that are still open are doing limited showings, like one or two showings a day, and they're selling limited tickets. And it's just a really weird situation. And NBC Universal recently announced something that I wanted to talk about. I normally don't do movie news videos, but as times change, I'm gonna to have to change on this channel a little bit, at least for a while. That being said, I do think this is something really relevant and something kind of monumental and really unprecedented that I'd love to discuss. Universal announced that this Friday, their new films that are in theaters right now, The Invisible Man, Emma, and The Hunt are going to be streaming VOD. And their upcoming release in April, Trolls World Tour, is going to go straight to VOD on that date that it was originally going to come out in theaters. This is unprecedented. This is actually really big. Now there's a lot of negatives to this and there's quite a bit of positives and I'd like to discuss my opinion on this. Obviously the biggest negative is that it could potentially impact movie theaters for the worst later on. Uh, nobody wants movie theaters to die, especially not me. Movie theaters are like my church. I, I go there at least at the very least, two times a week. So even though I haven't been to the theater in about a week now, I'm already feeling some withdrawal from it. It's kind of like a drug for me. I feel re-energized. Even if I don't love the movie, the experience of going to a theater is very important to me, and I never want to lose that. So the thought of day and date releases to VOD is very scary to me, just because I don't want movie theaters to go away. I would never want to see a film like Christopher Nolan's Tenet, which is supposed to come out in July for the very first time on my couch. I would love to be able to watch that on a gigantic screen. What I will say though, is a movie like Trolls World Tour, I'm more than happy to not have to go to a theater filled with children to watch that movie. I'm gonna pay for it. And let's say I had three or four kids and I wanted to take all of them to see a movie and buy them popcorn and candy, and $10 to $15 to $20 tickets each, I'm gonna be walking out of that theater paying $100 to see Trolls. So the fact that you can pay $20 for it and have all of your family just sit around and watch it at home, that's an obvious benefit. But there's something else that comes hand in hand with going to the movie theater. You're not just supporting your local movie theater, you're supporting the films you see, and you're supporting the studios that make the movies when you pay for a ticket. You can't go to a theater if there's no movies. Otherwise, you're just gonna go to a building and sit in a nice chair and eat popcorn and look at nothing. So somebody has to make these movies. And right now, if we can't go to a theater regularly, we have to have a way to be able to support filmmakers and studios. And even if it's just temporarily, the idea of having a service that, at least in this case, Universal, is allowing us to watch some of their films at home for a high price, if that's the only way that I can support people who are making movies right now, then I'm going to do it. It doesn't mean that I don't want the theater experience because trust me, I do. I'm already missing it and I've only, it's only been a week. Trust me, I completely understand. There's part of me that really wants movie theaters to have all of the movies. Um, but I'm also excited by the notion of more opportunities to see films. Because like when Netflix came around, a lot of people were like, oh my God, what's this new thing? You know, Blockbuster and Hollywood Video are gonna go away, and they did. But they were also absurdly expensive. They were charging really stupid rates to rent movies from Blockbuster or Hollywood Video. And the idea of being able to stream movies or, or get DVDs delivered to you at the time was really interesting and it saved a lot of money. And I'm just talking completely business here. Obviously, I want movie theaters to be around forever for the rest of time. But purely from a business perspective, if they're gonna compete with this, they have to find a way to make it cheaper to go to the theater. But in the case of right now, with all of this stuff we're dealing with, I've been quarantining myself for the past week. I haven't gone anywhere, and I'm gonna to continue to do that. In Ohio, they just closed down all restaurants. Um, schools are closed. They only have drive through and carry out at restaurants. So this isn't really a joke, you know? Like, I'm not gonna go to the movie theater and watch Bloodshot a billion times over the next few months if every movie gets canceled, and who knows what they'll do with Black Widow, which is supposed to come out on May 1st, 
if every movie gets canceled for the next few months, there has to be a way for us to be able to support people who are making them. Even if that means that it's not going to be great for movie theaters, because right now there's a lot of businesses that are suffering because of this. It's not just movie theaters. So I'm cautiously optimistic about this because I've seen the model that Netflix has introduced. Without Netflix, there would be no The Irishman. You know, they're the ones who got that movie off the ground. They provided the money for Martin Scorsese to make the movie the way he wanted to make it. And so, like I said, cautiously optimistic. I like the idea of this happening, but there is certain there are going to be certain films I, I never want to watch at home first. I always am going to want to watch movies like Tenet or Steven Spielberg's films in a theater. There's tons of indie films uh, that I would never want to watch at home for the first time. Like, I'm so glad I was able to see The Lighthouse in a theater before I received my screener DVD for it. There's just a lot of movies that I'm always going to want to go to a theater for because, like I said, that place is my church. But I also recognize that it, at this current time and this environment, it feels almost necessary to have something like this. So I'm very curious to see if Disney decides to drop any of their films on Disney+. Plus. It would make no sense, really, I don't think, for them to put Mulan on there. It's just too expensive, you know? But at this point, a movie like The New Mutants, I could see that happening. Um... Antlers is probably <laughs> not going to happen on Disney Plus. That's just, you know, that's a really fucked up movie. But The New Mutants, I, I could potentially see that happening. And with all of the times that's been pushed back, just give it a break. <laughs> give that poor fucking movie a break. So yeah, like in summation, I want movie theaters to stay around forever. I am not encouraging the death of them. But I also recognize the importance of adopting new things. And that new things, while sometimes scary, could potentially be beneficial in the long run, especially for films that are like aimed at families, like something like Trolls. No one needs to go to a theater who has kids and, and spend like $100 to see that movie. It, it's sort of like there are a few drive-in theaters that are still around in Ohio and other places in the States, and you can pay like $20 for an entire van load to go to see a movie at a drive-in. And a lot of parents do that with their kids because it's a lot cheaper. Something like that could happen at home for parents as well. So I'm very curious to know what you guys think of this recent development. Obviously, for some people who don't care about going to the theater, this is great. In my opinion, though, I'm cautiously optimistic. I, I see potential greatness in this, and I'm also worried about what it could do to the theater business. What do you guys think? Let me know below and stay tuned for a lot of reviews. I have spent the past few days filming tons of videos. I'm going to have a lot of stuff for you guys over the next couple of weeks. Thank you so much as always for watching. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.